If you're new to this channel, my name is Sankyu and I make videos revolving around tech. So do consider subscribing. So Samsung phones generally have good cameras and that's not an overstatement. But not everything is perfect in this world and here is the problem with them. The photos are over up to the core, the contrast is dialed up to the 11, their mid-range phones are held back by bad processing algorithm, and the night mode isn't that amazing, even for the Galaxy S21 Ultra. But then we do have a lifesaver and you don't need to do anything much. And that's where Google Camera comes in. So Google Camera is an app that Pixel phones use and they produce amazing photos with just some really good processing algorithms. Just take a look at the sensor size of the Galaxy S21 Ultra and the Pixel 5. The S21 Ultra has a huge sensor compared to it, but it still fails to impress in comparison to the Pixel 5. It proves the point that you don't necessarily need a bigger sensor or three or more cameras to take amazing photos. The Google Camera mod can do wonders to any phone. For example, take a look at the OnePlus 8. The stock camera generally takes decent photos, but with the Google Camera mod, it takes amazing photos. So yes, Google Camera can do wonders to any phone. But wait, before you rush in with excitement, here's the issue why nobody uses Google Camera on Samsung phones. It's because they are often worse or laggy than the stock camera. But after some extensive research, I have finally found a stable version of Google Camera mod for Samsung devices and in this video, I'd show you how you could do it on your phone as well. So here's how it goes. Take a look if your device is first in this list which is linked in the description below. So for example, I want to use this mod on the Galaxy S20 and as you can see, I can see my device and I can download the mod for my device. But wait, if your device is not in this list, keep watching as I do have a solution for it. Now here's the deal with this. As you can see, it's clearly mentioned that this mod is for the Snapdragon version of the S20 and not the Exynos version. And now I have the Exynos version. And if your device has a Snapdragon processor, this mod would work flawlessly. But then if you have an Exynos processor like me, the possibilities of this mod working is unpredictable. So to check which processor your phone has, install CPU-Z to check which processor you have. And as you can see, I have the Exynos 990. But if you're not interested in installing apps and you want to figure out which version you have, just find out which country you bought the phone from. So if you have got the device from US, China, or even South Korea, it's mostly a Snapdragon version. And if you have the device from any other region other than above mentioned ones, it's an Exynos version. So now that I've cleared the confusion, let's go with the installation process. So for the devices with an Exynos processor, open the link in the description below where you can come to this website and download ZGCam and click download to get the APK file. And once it's done, the process is same for both Exynos and Snapdragon. Make sure Chrome has access to install unknown applications and now you can install it and once it's done, you have successfully installed Google Camera on your Galaxy device. So here are some photo samples between the stock and the Google Camera mod. So are you convinced enough to try the mod out? If you have already been convinced, do drop your opinions on which is better and do let me know your issues as well. Drop a like if it helped you and subscribe for some tech content. This is Sankyu and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.